G'day everyone, today we want to share our guide on how to take good stock photos of a bale commodity like this LDP film behind me. And by taking the right stock photos before you present it to market, you could actually achieve another 10 or $20 a tonne for your particular commodity. So it's super important you understand the photos that the market wants and be able to present them in the fashion that the market wants. It's no different to selling your motor car. If you go to a website like carsales.com, Every single car that's presented on that site is presented in a certain fashion. And in fact, they even give you the format in how to present your motor car to the market. And a bale commodity like this LDPE film is no different. As we jump over here and have a look at the stockpile, it's all facing out, showing the, the, the side of the bales. This is the only side of the bales that you should be taking photographs of because it clearly shows the layers within each particular bale and what we're looking for and what your buyers are looking for is being able to identify the materials that are potentially in there if you can see the perspective here between the end of the bale and the side of the bale what you can clearly see is from this end here all you're seeing is one sheet of plastic right whereas when you're taking photographs from this side you can clearly see the layers of the bale and what we're looking for here is the makeup of the commodity you're trying to put together. So the first key thing to make sure that you are doing is stacking your bales in the yard in the right way so you can simply walk out and take the photographs that you need. The first photo that you wanna take is a really nice group shot. So a photo from this side here showing the entire stock. And then what you wanna take is a couple of photographs of batches of four bales. So simply walk closer, take a nice photo of four bales together walk to the other end of the stockpile, take another photo of four bales together. And then we wanna see some two bale photographs like these, followed by three or four single bale photos. Getting the right photos is also about having the right camera. And on most of your cameras, there's a setting in there that you can adjust the size of the file format that your camera is gonna take a photograph. So it means I don't have to edit the file size down or zip, zip the file when I go back into the office. It's a little tip to save you time and effort down the track. So how easy is that? With zero more effort, you could add some additional value to the product that you've got in your yard. And it all starts by just stacking it all the same way and then getting some really, really good photos. As always, we'll put a link in the comment section below. And we hope this has been helpful. We'll see you next time.